testing.
Joao, please rise for the singing of our national anthem performed by the senior members of the Grays Lake North Choir. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light was so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we've watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh saved us that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave Class of 2023, please take your seats. I know you're not the class of 2023, but. <laughs> Board of Education, Dr. Storsley, fellow administrators, faculty and staff, parents, guardians, family, friends, and of course, the Grays Lake North High School Senior Class of 2023. Welcome. Welcome. Every year, I stand up here and attempt to describe the contributions and the impact of the current senior class. My words require that you trust that I know their struggles their successes, and their stories. This year, my words will come from the students themselves so that you may hear the real stories of the class of 2023. Please welcome Sally Liftowie, Carolina Lozano, Ovia Gokula Krishnan, Allison Kubik and Sonia Voitain. Poetry that I left behind, but I still carry Palestine in my heart. I'm not gonna lie, it was really hard for me to have a new start as a teenager in a new country, a new language, and new customs. My personality helps me to overcome those obstacles. But even so, it was hard. The language barrier was the most impacting challenge for me. I was exposed to a new environment in the school and I needed to grow and adapt myself. When I started at North, I thought I was the only one who was new. But after four years, I realized how many new students come to our school each year. This year being a senior, I felt like I should be a mentor. Starting with kids from South America and later ending with kids from Ukraine. We became a multicultural school. The personal struggle is minimalized when everyone supports you. It seems like a less lonely, sorry. It seems like a less lonely process to go through, but actually it's not when everyone supports you and welcomes you. 
I did my part, but I also needed all my teachers and classmates who have the most supportive people I have met in my life. I feel confident because I still keep my culture. I'm true to my culture and to myself. I'm, and I'm accepted into my new small world. I have two worlds. One is called high school, and the other one is my family, who loves me and supports me. My parents once told me that education is the key of success. And to that, I will not disappoint my parents that have sacrificed so much for me to have this life. I'm thankful for them. Before I end this, I would like to say a word in Arabic to my parents. انتو حكيتوا لي انه التعليم هو مفتاح النجاح شكرا لكل شيء عملتوا لي اياه وشكرا لكل التضحيات اللي عملتوها منشان يكون عندي حياه افضل بحبكم كثير والله لا يحرمني منكم انتو اخوتي ان ثانك يو جود ايفنينج ماي نيم از كيرلي لوزانا تو ماي بيرنتس I've always heard that with love comes sacrifices. And if that's true, oh my goodness, do you guys love me? I know we don't always see eye to eye, but that doesn't mean your sacrifices go unnoticed. Growing up, I would always hear teachers talk about how our parents went to high school and college, so they were smart and could help us with our homework. However, that always made me think about how you guys didn't get those experiences. But that never changed how I saw you. Honestly, I always thought that made you so much more impressive. I grew up with a lot of the people around me who saw the education we got as the, more, as the norm. And honestly, I was one of those people. That was thanks to your hard work and sacrifices. You made sure my sisters and I didn't worry about finances or the real world for as long as possible. Even when there were issues, you just made sure we were safe and comfortable. I thank you for those sacrifices. I've always looked up to you both, even when you didn't notice. You've given me perspective on life and taught me the importance of hard work. You were there for me when I went through horrible health and rough times. You taught me that change doesn't have to be scary, which I learned by knowing you two were always looking out for me. I didn't always want to be at school, and you guys definitely knew that. But I knew how important this was, not only for my future, but how important it was for you too. So me puse las pilas y aquí estoy. <laughs> I just <laughs> I just want to say I recognize the big and small sacrifices you make for my sisters and me. I'll spend my whole life loving every minute and everything I have thanks to you. This diploma isn't just a symbol of my hard work, but yours as well. Los quiero mucho. Thank you again. Good evening, everyone, and a special good evening to the class of 2023. My name is Ovia Rajam Gokulakrishnan, and it is my distinct honor to be addressing you. Class of 2023, we are resilient. We are a diverse group with so much potential. And although we are individuals, we accomplished so much together these few years because we experienced more than a decade's worth of events in a span of just two years and managed to persevere when isolation was our classroom and our efforts in completing our work was resilience. And that is why our graduating class is the most determined graduating class in the history of Grace Lake North High School. And we should be so proud of what we have all done these four years because we will carry these memories with us forever. But if at some point during these past four years, you or someone has doubted your potential to graduate, I would like to begin by congratulating you for persevering through the hardships and defeating the prejudice or stereotypes that were faced upon you. Because this diploma that we will be retrieving this evening isn't just a receipt of the completion of our academic requirements. Rather, it is a symbol of perseverance, a symbol of all of our personal victories. Looking at myself now on our graduation day and realizing that I didn't let my depression win is an accomplishment. And I'm glad that you are present here and you were able to accomplish goals that you set for yourself and persevere through adversity. Today, I would like to exemplify the idea of perseverance through a story. Moving my family to America wasn't just a dream to my dad. It was a goal that he was determined to reach. He often said, 
Dreams with no goals will remain a dream. And that was the reason why he never let the laughter or the judgment that were faced upon him interfere with his goals. In 2008, my dad received a job offer in America. And due to some unfortunate turn of events, it got rejected. Even though it was a failure, he never gave up. He utilized the failure as a motivation to work hard. For 11 years, my dad persevered under adversity, and that has led me to give this speech and graduate high school this evening. So thank you, Dad. I understand that everyone has unique stories and struggles that you may have encountered, but I'm here to tell you that you're loved. And any obstacle you encounter that brings you pain or grief will be temporary. But tonight, the proverbial clock that has been ticking the hourglass ever since we stepped foot into Graysick North High School is coming to an end. And the person that is sitting beside you right now matters. And it may be the last time you see each other. But we have learned numerous life lessons here, which we will be utilizing throughout our life. In Tamil, translates to what one knows is only a handful, whereas the unknown is the size of the world. Because class of 2023, our journey has just begun. And the future is a mystery. And if you're uncertain on what you want to do in life, then please acknowledge that your path in life is a journey and not a destination. So it's okay if you haven't figured out your path in life yet. I leave you today with the words of Harriet Tubman. Every great dream begins with a dreamer. You have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars. So I want you to stop and think about what you want to do in life. Not what is important to your parents, or your peers, or even the society, but something that is vital to you. If that frightens you, that's good. If people think you're crazy, that's better. If you don't know what your passion is from the top of your head, then feel it. Because the butterflies that you get while envisioning your dream is a sign. But regardless of what you choose to pursue in life, never forget where you started from and the people who supported you along the way. Because we have reached this point in life not only because of us and our hard work, but also because of them. And I would like to dedicate this speech to all the families that are present here who have supported and sacrificed things for us to reach this point in life. Thank you, Mommy and Daddy, for pro providing me with all the essentials. Thanks for my younger brother, Yuvi, for always putting a, ha for always putting a smile in my face, my family in India, Dr. Deacon, for always being a safe person to talk to, and Dylan and his family. Nanji, when I come. Oh my God, oh my God, okay. okay. Uh, good evening. My name is Allison Kubik. Um, I was going to start my speech off with a joke, but I don't know if I should do that. Do you guys want to hear a joke? Okay, okay. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this one from my nursing teacher's little son. Uh, so why did the cow cross the road? He wanted to see a movie. Okay, I'm done now. All right. <laughs> okay, so I'm talking about perseverance. Uh, throughout high school, we all have had to grow to show perseverance together and through our own personal things. I will give you an example of how we have persevered. Our freshman year was cut short due to COVID, and sophomore year was mainly remote until about January when we started a hybrid version of school. Not at all what we dreamed high school would be like. I had only been to school two days when the next thing I knew, I was in the hospital diagnosed with a traumatic brain injury. Brain injury, sorry. <laughs> um, today, I'm about, today I am about two and a half years into my recovery and thankful to be standing in front of you all today. Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, brain injuries are invisible. If you didn't know me prior to my injury, you wouldn't be able to tell I had to relearn to walk, talk, and eat all over again. Without me telling you so, you can't tell that I do with brain fog every day, where I constantly feel like every day is a dream. I find it to be very challenging that no one besides me can see or feel how I'm feeling. And I know my fellow peers can relate to that regarding their own personal struggles. 
My accident has taught me that high school is a very short period of time in the grand scheme of life, but it does have lots of hardships. Everybody has something they're dealing with, whether they talk about it or not. My injury and accident in itself have taught me that life is too short. It is crucial for everyone to recognize and appreciate the things they enjoy in life and create a good and strong support system with their friends and family. I just want to take a moment to thank all the Alice Strong supporters who have helped and supported my family during my recovery. Thank you. Good evening, North. My name is Sonia Vatenkam, and it's an honor for me to be able to speak in front of you all tonight. I came to Grace Oak North High School this September as an exchange student from Ukraine. I have also been in the United States since last year during my exchange on Ocracoke Island out of my East North Carolina. Although it has become my second home, I couldn't continue my stay there for a number of reasons, nor could I return home because of the war that broke out in my country on February 21st, 2022. So I find myself once more in a new place, a new home, and a new school. Essentially, crossing the ocean and coming to a new country as a 15-year-old girl by yourself was not easy. The dream and perseverance kept me going. And the family and friends that I made along the way, they gave me strength to carry on even when things turned unimaginably hard. While I'm sure you can sympathize how difficult the past year has been for me, North has welcomed me with open arms this fall. I couldn't be more grateful for all the teachers, coaches, and staff member assistants, as well as students who helped and guided me throughout this year. I was very lucky to make so many lifelong connections and end my high school career here. Thank you. Thank you to, <laughs> Thank you to my family and friends who could make it to my graduation tonight for your support and encouragement, and to my family and friends across the ocean who believe in me trust my choices, and help me discover my resilience that I never thought I had. I love you all, and I'm very lucky to have you alive. But my thanks are especially heartfelt tonight, because my mom and sister, my two best friends, are here in the audience tonight, watch me walk across the stage as a graduate. The first year I've seen them in almost two years. So these are the words for them. Mama Tomasha. Вони завжди будуть моїми найкращими подружками, які мене завжди вислухають і дадуть важливу пораду. Я вам дуже вдячна за вашу любов та підтримку. Я вас дуже люблю. Also to my dad, who was unable to leave the country today and come to my graduation due to the war circumstances, but who was always my biggest support and who has seen me cry the most. Whenever I just needed to be myself and talk it all to someone, he was there for me. He always gave me strength to carry on. Even in the hardest times, he was always an outstanding example of how fathers should treat their daughters. Tata, я знаю, що ти зараз дивишся це відео, тому ці слова для тебе. Я дякую тобі за ваше з мамою виховання, а також за можливість знаходитись зараз тут. Я тебе дуже люблю, ти мене завжди мотивуєш, і ми вже недовзі побачимося з тобою в Києві. The war has changed every Ukrainian's life dramatically. We now realize that we only get one life, and it's a gift that you have to use at its fullest. We never know what is going to happen tomorrow, so it's an important reminder to enjoy today as much as you can, appreciate little things, and always stay strong and kind, no matter what challenges you're facing. So congratulations, we finally made it. You should be very proud of yourselves. And as Taylor Swift would say, the scary news is you're on your own now. But the cool news is you're on your own now, class of 2023. by far the best speech I've ever given. <laughs> Class of 2023, those five stories are a true reflection of the impact you have had on this school, on your families, and on each other. Best wishes to you now and always. And remember, once a night, always a night. Congratulations.
I would now like to introduce the staff speaker, as selected by this senior class, Mr. Martin Rocha. Qué chido es eso? That in Spanish means, how cool is that? That is the expression that became common as expression number three in my class, and that is how cool you superheroes are, class of 2023. No worries, I promise I'll be short, and no, I'm not talking about my height. For those that had the opportunity to be in my classes more than once, some up to even uh, three years, as a student once quoted, if you Rocha, it's a whole lot of Rocha, now imagine three, how cool is that? Those of you who know me, you know what to do, right? Tres, go! I hope it was a valuable ride as it takes another route starting today. My students have come a long way in these last four years. You ran, walked, skated, danced, played, jumped, climbed, swam, and where did you arrive? I think we need to hear that again, but in Spanish, right? I think I need some help with that, so uh, Charlie Pritchard, Casey Staver, Nicole Brown, and Jesse Bennett. Applause! Oh. Come up here to the stage. We need to do it one more time. Are you guys ready? Okay. This would only take one minute, okay? I even had a dream about this. <laughs> it was so cool. Que chido es eso. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Hey, yo. Oh, wait, wait. I need all your help. Class of 2023, I need the rhythm, okay? Hey, yo. Corrieron, 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 caminaron, 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 patinaron, 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 jugaron, 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 bailaron, 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 treparon, 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 saltaron, 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 nadaron, 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 treparon, bailaron, corrieron, treparon, saltaron, corrieron, saltaron, y a donde llegaron. Grace North, aplauso. <laughs> anyway, um, your graduation is finally here. Those of you who have been in my classes, I'm hoping that, that you have had a valuable experience, as I always gave my heart and my soul to captivate you in storytelling through acting in my stories. And thanks to you, the stories always had a challenging situation and a solution followed. Even if the plows are fictitious, out of the ordinary, unusual, shocking, hilarious, illogical, or crazy. Something that sounded like so crazy that my colleagues would hear us from afar and say, hey, is everything all right in there? And someone else would say, oh, he just wrote his class. That's a normal day. Understandable. Sometimes we're practicing numbers by pretending to drive at supersonic speed and how many miles an hour we can travel by Angela Caliendo sitting in my chair, pretending to drive and say, Hola, te gusta mi carro? 
and the sound effects were always out of this world. Other times the stories would involve doing push-ups and all of you would count. Who can do more between Charlie Pritchard and me? Or when Nicole Brown was the class promoter, practicing her marketing skills, pretending to sell bathrooms for pets. No, I'm not talking about a dog or a cat. It was more like elephants and rhinos. To make it even more interesting, Don Camacho was so willing to put, in a, to put in a superhero cape to intensify the lesson plan by pretending to be Superman, Iron Man, Thor, all at the same time. But let's not forget tamales. And when Payne Chumbly brought donuts to our AP literature class, that's so sweet. How cool is that? Tres, go! Más volumen, más drama. Being a teacher is the greatest job in the world, and I feel totally blessed to have touched a class of 2023. I had a conversation with some students in one of my classes, and for some reason, the topic about retirement came up about when I will retire. I mentioned that I have plans to retire, you know, but not anytime soon. Casey Staver said to me, honestly, Rocha, I think you, if you retire, you're going to get bored and will want to return to teaching. I thought those were beautiful words. Took them as a compliment. This is what I'm getting at with words of experience. Whatever you decide to do in your future, after today, choose a career you love. Make sure you're, you're happy with what you do economically and emotionally. Show your love, give it your all with heart and soul. Love what you do so much that it does not feel like a job, but a passion, and always strive to get better. Not only at your job, but with good feelings and be a good moral human being. Always be willing to help others without expecting anything in return. And I would like to complete this message first in Spanish, and then I'm going to translate. Cuando completen este camino y encuentren lo que aman, lo apreciarán por el resto de su vida y se sentirán bendecidos de hacer algo que disfruten y amen y se apasionen de esa carrera que elijan. Cuando enfrenten una situación desafiante, piensen en ella como un cuento con un problema y una solución. Cuanto más desafiante se vuelve, más aprenden y cuando transmiten esa felicidad a los demás, también serán ese ejemplo a seguir. Sé apasionado, sé enérgico, sé feliz, sé chido, sé rocha. Now I'm going to translate. When you do complete that path and find what you love, you will share is that for the rest of your life and you will feel blessed to do something you enjoy and love and be passionate about the career that you choose when you face a challenging situation. Think of it as a story with a problem and a solution. The more challenging it gets, the more you learn and when you transmit that happiness to others, you will also be that role model. Be passionate. Be energetic, be happy, be cool, be rocha. How cool is that? Tres, go! Thank you. Now, now please, please welcome, welcome our, our student, student speaker, speaker Jace, Jace Johnson. Johnson. Hi, Mom and Dad. I'm like so nervous, guys. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Graduates, who knew it would? Okay. Who knew it would feel this way when the time actually came? Who knew, for only two years? We walked in the same halls for only two years while we spent the previous two only perceiving one another through a screen. However, I feel like my class, no, 
we as a generation don't get enough credit. The entire world was brought to its knees. Parents, staff, and students alike were all brought down to the same level. A level full of uncertainty, a level of fear. We were just freshmen when the pandemic took over the world. Uncompleted versions of the masterpieces you see before you today. Each one of you gave something in return to become this. So whether you gave time, sleep, or tears, we as a class now understand that there is nothing in this life that turns out free. When speaking of my class's accomplishments, COVID is bound to make an appearance. I'm the biggest advocate that my generation took a time when the world was flooded with fear, and not only did they share what made them unique and creative, but they put on a platform for the entire world to see. You can't tell me social media doesn't hold a high power status within our society after an event like COVID. As time progressed, it wasn't just our generation seeking out that connection. You had people all around the world communicating and connecting. Conversations are being held about topics that save lives. Stories being told that become history. And even stupid funny videos that make us feel less alone. Everything is different now. The world, us, but I promise it's for the better. But I'm a 17 year old. So what do I know? Truly, like, what do I know? I know we now venture into a world filled with both hate and love, both hope and despair. For some of us, the world comes with extra stipulations and limitations, and for that, let me be the first one to say I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We must fully be aware of the world that awaits us, the good and the bad, the beautiful and the ugly. The class of 2023 is so much more than COVID though, so much more than that of an average class. We're a class filled with free thinkers, a class filled with friendships, and a class filled with promise. The feeling of graduating I've come to find is so bittersweet. For some, you are so ready to spread your wings and become something entirely new. For others, the fear of leaving home or the person you used to be behind can be overwhelming. But don't let that fear stop you from trusting yourself and moving forward. When writing this speech, I was encouraged to share my hopes and dreams for you all. I wish for you all to find the things that make you happy and build your life around them. We as a class don't need any more reminders on how hard life can be. We as a class are survivors and deserve to be spoken to as such. Therefore, let me be the first to say it's about what you choose to fight for in life. It is so much easier to stay in your sadness every day than fighting to hold on to whatever happiness you find yourself. <laughs> Therefore, it should go without saying that this year's graduating class is more than ready to take control of their futures and set forth on a new path, paving the way for generations to come. You must all understand the importance of what you accomplished in your time here. Even if it feels minuscule, don't diminish your accomplishments. There are plenty already waiting and wanting to do that. When I started at North, I was a kid who was solely focused on my academic success. I was already familiar with the school when my best friend, Jessica Gomez, wherever she is, somewhere on this side, hey girl, hey, um, already being a member of the student body, I come to find that the need for friends was minimal for me. North gave me something though I never thought I needed. A mentor. When I met Miss Deacon, I understood that North wasn't meant to be a home for me, but better yet, a launching pad, preparing me for future success. Miss Deacon not only saw the young man that I could be, but taught me most invaluable lesson, that empathy is how we save the world. So be sure to appreciate what or who makes a place one of comfort, one of love, and one of acceptance. So wherever you are, Miss Deacon, thank you and I'm really gonna miss you. So many times I was asked why I wanted to be this year's class speaker, and I feel like you are all entitled to an explanation on my motivations for doing so. Since childhood, I've always dreamed of being in control, to be the one in the driver's seat of my life. I dreamed of being smart, smart enough to not be dismissed from conversations, but instead invited to them. I dreamed of being creative and special, but most of all, I dreamed of being powerful. And unfortunately, growing up, I used to confuse control for power. It wasn't until I understood the things that fall underneath my control 
that I started to understand my own power. In the words of my personal favorite artist, SZA, I don't have any control over what actually happens except for that I have full control over my will for myself, my intention, and why I'm there. And that's all that matters. It's weird for me to say that I envision this version of myself, the version you see before you today, the graduate, the college-bound, young, educated example of black excellence that can't be stopped. However, I always knew I would graduate high school and do it for my three sisters, whose sacrifices have catapulted me into a new level of society. When discussing sacrifices, it should be highlighted what you gave to be here, with all of us having to juggle the demands of our personal life on top of school. Only you know the personal sacrifices that got you here. So don't doubt it. Only we know the limits our futures hold. So in regards to the class of 2023's legacy, it is one that entails survival, perseverance, and a ripple effect that will forever change the foundation on which the legacy was built. It is no secret that there's a chance we can fail, fail to live up to our standards or that of societies. The future is terrifying. Everything you do from this point is a risk. Trust yourself. This is not the time for doubt. We as humans are capable of some of the most beautiful things just as long as we listen to our hearts. So find the one that makes you feel seen and safe, the place that makes you feel like you're in heaven or home, and the passion that runs through your soul uncontrollably. Give yourself time and always make mistakes. Some of you may find yourself struggling to gain control, but please let that idea of control go and be the young dumb kids now and the kind-hearted grown-ups later. I'll truly miss you all and remember you fondly in therapy. Dr. Storsley and members of the Grays Lake Community High School District 127 Board of Education. I hereby acknowledge that the members of the class of 2023, as listed in the program, have successfully completed the graduation requirements and are eligible to receive the Grays Lake North High School Diploma. Our name readers today will be Mr. Tom New, Ms. Babette Byrne, Mr. Noah Skibby, and Mr. Brent Jones. Row one, will you please rise and come forward? Alessandra Nahomi Azamar Tahida. Grace Bahina. Natalie D'Amico. Alejandra Viveros. Sarah Amir Abushama. Levi Payne Adams. <laughs> Luis Aguilar. Selena Alberta. Emma Lee Alexson. Nathan Kenneth Alfaro. 
<laughs> Logan James Anderson. Luke Raymond Anderson. Caitlin Tello Akisan. Sophia Grace Arminetti. Abel Areola. Gustavo Arroyo. Vincent Patrick Arthurs. Ileana Jade Avila. Natalie Elise Babiars. I know. <laughs> Daniel James Bockinger. Ryan Anthony Baird. Michael Barrera Juarez. <laughs> Sophia Barsh. <laughs> Madeline Bauman. Denisa Beatrice Bellet. Jaime Beltran. Jessica Ann Bennett. Nicholas Henry Burkst. Andy Jace Best. Halia Butel. Andrew M. Black Michon. Kona Bleeker. Chase Atticus Bollinger. Joseph Joaquin Brajoli. Pablo Brito Guzman. Nicole Rose Brown. Michael Robert Bruce the third. Michelle Marie Bruchert. Tess Buckley.
Emily N. Bunn. Gustavo Alejandro Garcia Calhoun. Angelo Rose Caliendo. Don Ricardo Camacho. Creighton J. Campbell. Xavier Thomas Camper. Hassan Carr. Maddox James Carr. Cade J. Cassidy. Andrew Scott Sapolsky. Giovanni Chavez Beatriz. Alicia Chen. Shoshana Isabella Chisholm. Hannah Chowen. Adam Christopher. Allison Christopher. Jordan Chumley. Peyton Chumley. Camilla Fierros. Nicholas James Chincati. Hayden Drew Sink. Maria J. Clark. Taylor Anthony Coble. Sage Gabrielle Coleman. <laughs> Gavin Michael Congleton. <laughs> Lucas Conover. Christian Peter Coronado. Jordan Barrera Corpus. Nala Chantel Crumble. Akira Khalees Amory Crump. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! 
Chastity Abigail Culp. James William Dacey. Kendall Ross Daigle. Takara Alyssa Sheila Dalton. Emerald Meadow David. Brooke Rowan Davies. Owen Andrew Davies. Britain. Tyler Day. Yvonne Delgadillo. Shai Lachelle Denning. Damaris Deer Diaz. <laughs> Dallas Levi Dinkla. <laughs> Jacob Tyler Donahue. Hattie Dudar. <laughs> Ilya Dupoir. <laughs> Ellie Brianna Durgan. Wyatt Daniel Zekin. <laughs> Libby Tian Egbert. <laughs> Luke Alexander Eharn. Kelly Shannon Apple. <laughs> Nevina Urchag. <laughs> Landon James Edman. Erdman, sorry, Erdman. Erdman. Diana Suhe Estrada. <laughs> Bria R. Fahey. <laughs> Bryant James Phyllis. Gabrielle Sophie Fisher. Dominic G. Fishman. Rodrigo Flores. Megan Teresa Flynn. Morgan Jean Flynn. Daniel Jesus Fonseca. Brian 
Alfredo Fuentes. Emily, Emily Lynn Gading. Isaac Eduardo Gallegas. Gallegas. Sorry. Fernanda Galvin. Olivia Jennifer Gardner. Graham Worth Gatewood. Peyton Michelle Gerties. Matthew W. Gilchinski. Joshua Nicholas Gilly. Joshua Michael Goers. Ovia Gokugula Kirshnan. Jessica Gomez. Odiel Gonzalez Flores. Adrian Gonzalez. Thomas James Garnett. Nicholas Stephen Green. Seamus Patrick Green. Nicholas Enrico Gregory. Lillian Elizabeth Grobluski. Varun Galapali. Nathaniel Vikram Gilver. Eric Vargas Gutierrez. Grant Alexander Hamilton. Danielle Faith Hansen. Ryan James Hansen. Abigail Julia Haverkamp. Roman Healy. Caden Anthony Herman. Emmanuel Hernandez. Melissa Hernandez. Roman Hernandez. Fernanda Herrera.
Andrew L. Hexmer. Claire Isabel Hickson. Corinne Hill. Zion Rache Hodges. Annika Rachel Holm. Nathaniel C. Holton. Miriam Sage Hopkins. Zachary David Huffman. Ryan Christopher Hunt. Benjamin Thomas Hewitt. Raymond Jackson III. Dominic Jankowski. Michael Kevin Jefferson, Jr. Samaje Stephen Jeffries. Stephen Oliver Jin. Jose A. Jimenez Ubera. Jace Maurice Johnson. Samantha Rose Johnson. Charles Brad Jones II. Demetrius Lewis Jones. Jasmine Eva Jones. Delamar Q. Joyner Perry. Emmanuel Juarez. Nicholas Kultis. Alexander James Caravellis. Wendy. Keen. Chloe Antoinette Keith. Alexander Kelly. Jack William Kirpin. Wyatt Michael Keyes. Gracie Christofek. Allison Ann Kubik. Elise Kucharski.
Parth Kumar. Victoria L. Kutch. Reagan Cecilia Kuzanowski. Elizabeth Marie Lafferty. Julia Therese Landmesser. Ethan Lara. Ben Larkin. Callie McKenna Lawrence. Sydney Camille Lawrence. Alexander Laycock. Owen Michael Levitt. <laughs> Sally Durar Lashud Levdawi. <laughs> Jessica Legg. Mason Christopher Lemire. Alyssa Kathleen Lila. <laughs> Isabella Elizabeth Lizano. <laughs> Alex Eduardo Lopez de la Torre. Carolina Lozano. <laughs> Alyssa Marie Luzel. Angela Nayeli Macias. Liliana Macias. Jaden Lucas R. Merezigan. Angel Ernesto Martinez. Dahlia Martinez. Eva Masionis. Riley Nicole Maslin. Aiden McCaslin. Logan Thomas McLaughlin. Evan Jarrett McMahon. <laughs> Olivia Michelle Medina. <laughs> Julian J. Mejia. Alejandro Clovis Meneses. Yeah. 
Gavin D. Mercier. Chase Robert Middlestadt. Rebecca Angelita Hernandez Montevais. Garrett Michael Moore. Omar Hector Morales. Isabella Moran. Cedar Mahal. Alicia Marie Munoz. Tara Jo Murdow. Taylor Turin Najewski. DeAndre Terrell Neely Jr. Paris Wayne Neely. Morgan Elizabeth Nielsen. Alan Padilla. Christopher Ryan O'Neill. Jeziel F. Ocasio Sanchez. Alexander Olivo. Diego Ornelas. Christopher James Manaclang Palacio. Celia Palamalayo. Armando Para. Ailani Carolina Pedroza. Naomi Scarlett Perez Castellanos. Angel Perez Gonzalez. Amber Nicole Perez. Jonathan Perez. Yvonne A. Perez.
Avery Peterson. Dylan Thomas Peterson. Arena Panavin. Charles Andrew Pletcher. Haley Madison Polfleet. Ethan A. Poole. Daisy Popoka. Kylie Elizabeth Poterek. Carlin Price. Charles Han Pritchard. Kira Jane Race. Anai Ramirez. Luke Miller Rathundi. Christian Michael Renner. Calvin Reyes. Maxwell Abraham Reyes. Ryan Joseph Rhodes. Jeremiah Richardson. Michaela C. Reber. Domingo Rodolfo Rios Ayala. Diego Alexander Roblero. Charles Rodell. Mayalina Karina Romani. Esmeralda Ramirez Roque. Olivia Lois Elizabeth Rouse. Chase Rubert. Colby Emerson Rudo. Drake. Aaron Tyler Runyon. Ryland J. Russell. Paulina Ratowski. Tyler Stephen. Sandlon. John Peterson Sajevic. Melina 
Anahi Salinas. Gabriel E. Sanborn. Nicole Sanchez Gonzalez. Alexander Sanchez Contreras. Charlotte Grace Santa. Stephen Satterwaith. Kevin Scott Scanlon. Zaidi Medea Smith. Lauren Pearson Snyder. Lillian Grace Schultz. Amelia Schultz. Ava Elizabeth Schwartz. Ethan Schwartz. Merrick D. Schwartz. Angela Francis Segundo. Charlotte Edith Schaefer. Dylan Z. Shamrock. Arnav Deval Shedkev. Justin Jungul Shin. Emma Ray Silk. <laughs> Owen Silverman. Sharag Singh. Bella Sanini, Caden W. Smith, Natalie Nicole Smith, Christopher Brian Soder. Alexandra Soto. <laughs> Kylie Sudan. <laughs> Casey Scott Staver. Christopher Patrick Storiano. Joseph Christopher Swamber. Jared Swinson. J 
Jashvant Tamil Nambi. Christian Taylor. Alexander Tejas. Brock Ryland Terry. Owen James Thiem. Mariella Cam Torres Camacho. Liam Tusignat. Lillian Troyan. Grayson Lee Turner. Katarina Usalak. Elizabeth and Angelina Van Cast. Dylan Nicholas Van Zell. Mariah Janae Vargas Lopez. Jeffrey Jude Ventura. Arissa Bella Vetrano. Celeste Vialba. Mario Angelo Bazzini. Sonia Voitinko. Nicholas Andrew Von Briesen. Duncan Billy Waratut. Isabel in Ward. Andres M. Webb. Zachary Harold Whitegnat. Elijah Grant Wetter. Jada Nicole Whitfield. Ayana Yanez. Teresa Ann Zapacha. Grace Ann Zwiefka.
Students, please stand. By virtue of the authority invested in me by the Board of Education of Grays Lake Community High School, District 127, and its bylaws, and on recommendation from Grays Lake North High School, I now certify you as official alumni of Grays Lake North High School, Class of 2023. Congratulations. Once caps are retrieved, please go back to your row. I would ask that all spectators please remain in your seats until after the now graduates have exited. 